Hello there, nice to see you. My name's Eamon Holmes and welcome to my Northern Ireland. What you see around me here is just over an hour's drive out of Belfast, the capital of Northern Ireland. And this is the, the sort of site that I would have taken for granted as a youngster, where my parents would pack us into the car, not every year or every month. It seemed like every single Sunday to go a drive down the coast, the Antrim coast. I in turn would pass that on to my own children who now range in age from 21 down to eight. And they too have grown to realize the specialness of the Antrim coastline, as I hope you will too, as I become your tour guide. Well, what do you think of this? You won't have seen anything like this before. It's a World Heritage Site and it's a causeway. No ordinary causeway, it's a giant's causeway. Legend has it that there was a big guy who stalked around Ulster called Finn McCool. He was really big, he was so big he was a giant. And he liked to go to Scotland, which is 24 miles that way. To do that, he needed his own footpath. And here it is. Of course, there are scientists who would say that this was formed by lava cooling on hitting the sea and forming perfectly shaped pentagonal and hexagonal columns. But what would they know? I know which story I prefer. And from a footpath to a bridge. When you go on holiday with the kids, what is it you hear from them so, so often? We're bored. Well, call their bluff and bring them to the Carricka Reed Rope Bridge. Have a look at that. It's a suspension bridge and it hovers about 100 feet above the water there. It was originally used by fishermen so that they could check their nets on a salmon run. And uh, it's really quite an experience. Adrenaline fueled for the youngsters. In the 300 years that there has been a bridge here, I am assured no one has ever fallen off. Well, a dog did once, but I'm sure he could swim. Half an hour away from the Giants Causeway and the Carrigan Reed Rope Bridge, you get into the glens of Antrim. There are nine glens, and this is Cushion Dunn at the foot of Glen Dunn. Indeed, there's even a Glen Bally Eamon. So much of my childhood during the summer holidays was spent in places like Cushion Dunn. Indeed, this used to be our football pitch because it was, it was so quiet, so little traffic about, we kicked ball, most of them ended up in that water at some stage or other. But it's so child friendly, it's a lovely environment overall and life is just at a much slower, quieter pace in the glens. I mean, why get stressed about things like cutting your lawn when there's a friendly neighbour to do it for you? Hello. Travel the Antrim Coast Road and you won't need me to tell you that this is one of the top coastal drives in the whole world. So many beaches just run off it like this one. This is Waterfoot. It's a beach of my childhood and my children's childhood. And uh, the water's great, it's clean, it's quiet, and the sand's just perfect for sand castles. And do you know what, best of all, Belfast is only 40 miles or less than an hour that way. You really will be spoilt doing this drive. The scenery is absolutely stunning, even on a bad day. And if the beach and the sea isn't your thing, there's always a friendly little town to while away an hour or two. And so, back to Belfast and back in time. Do get me wrong, Belfast is a bustling and vibrant city, but on its outskirts is the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum, where as a family, you can not only watch, but take part in skills of a bygone era such as weaving. Well, look, that's just a brief taste of my Northern Ireland. Thank you for watching. Come and have a sample yourself sometime soon. Uh, if you want more information, there's the Discover Ireland website. Log on to that. See you soon.